Welcome to the MetaWare Debugger Training. This is MDB Session 3, where we'll show how to control program execution. In this session, we'll show you how to run, stop, and step the program being debugged in MDB. After launching a debug session, you'll find the execution control bars on the main toolbar at the top of the screen. There are buttons for running, stopping, and stepping your code. Let's look at each one in turn. The Run button starts program execution. Notice that the button is grayed out while the program is running. You can also check the status bar at the lower right to confirm that it's running. The Stop button is used to halt program execution. It's grayed out when the program is halted and the status bar also confirms that execution has stopped. Note that any items from the open windows which have changed during the run are now highlighted in red. There are five stepping related buttons. Source into and source over are used for stepping through C source. In other words, each press of the button will step by one C source line. These buttons behave identically on regular source lines, but on function calls, source into will step into the function call. If we keep stepping for a minute, we'll eventually get into a function call. Now I'm stepping source over. Notice now that we're going to call the function try. If I want to step into try, I can do source into, or if I want to simply step over it, I'll press source over. Let's try stepping into the function. You can see now that we've ended up at the start of try. The instruction into and instruction over buttons step by lines of assembly. They are therefore usually used when you're stepping in the disassembly window, as shown on the right. The into and over concepts are the same as with the source buttons. Note that you can use the source stepping buttons in the disassembly window, but they will advance by the blue statement lines instead of the individual assembly instructions. The step out button steps out of the current function and halts execution in the parent function at the return point. You will see the call stack window change as the function returns. In this example program, we have a recursive function called try, and that's why it appears multiple times in the call stack. The animate button is used to automatically step through your code as if you were repeatedly pressing one of the step buttons. It can be used if you want to quickly advance through your program, observing the state as you go. Compare this to simply free running, where the state is only updated when the target halts. In order to start the animation, press the animate button, and then choose the stepping button that you'd like to repeatedly execute. The debugger will start stepping through the code, and you can observe the other windows updating with each step. Use the speed control to adjust the animation speed. Press stop when you're done. Now the target is halted again. The Restart button is used to restart the program, as if you'd exited the debugger and restarted it. The program will be reloaded and run to main. The debugger techniques discussed in this presentation are covered in detail in the DesignWare MetaWare Debugger User's Guide for ARC supplied with the MetaWare toolset. In particular, please see section 3.1, Controlling Program Execution.